I'm in the final preparation stages now of preparing for a trip around Australia and it's time to do the vehicle checks and something I like to do which isn't particularly necessary but I like to replace all the fluids so the front and rear diff oils gearbox transfer case engine oil and also the fuel filter and air filter so I do this so that everything starts from a new place it's everything's ready to go it's brand new oil it has the most lubricating ability so when I do head off the car is getting the best quality lubrication available when it's hitting the hardest terrain also it's easier to keep track of when everything is due for renewal as I just take down the odometer reading now and then calculate out how many kilometers it is till the next oil change so let's get some of these filters in place now and then we'll do a, a good look underneath the vehicle and just check some of the other fluids to make sure everything's okay. Paste and just clean out with a rag all the dust and any oil coming through. And also make sure that the dump valve is clear and free of any gunk inside and then it still closes up okay. That's designed so if you do get water in the system it's meant to bleed out here. If you go when you go through a deep water crossing it's meant to close itself up from the suction within the engine. That appears to be okay. And while I have access I'll check all the turbocharger hoses as well, make sure they're secure. And I also check the o-ring on the housing to ensure it seals correctly. I also have a fuel sedimenter on this vehicle which separates water and other grit out from the fuel before it reaches the fuel filter. So it extends the life of the fuel filter and is one extra level of protection against bad fuel with lots of water. So first I'll drain it out and check for any water and then I'll put it down and give it a clean out to remove any sand and grit. There's no sign of any water in the system, but there is a bit of grit and sand in the bottom. So I will just take that off and give it a quick wash out. So there's still a, a few larger particles in there and some other grit and just a little touch of slime. Only the engine oil hasn't been changed yet. Everything else has already been done. So let's get this changed out and then start looking around the rest of the engine bay and underneath. I've crawled around underneath and with the grease gun, greased universal joints, prop shafts and the steering componentry and just taking a good look around at all the shock absorber bushes, the brake lines, checking the nuts and bolts making sure they're all on tight and everything looks good. Only one issue I've found which is my oil housing where the oil filter screws onto, where the oil pressure sensor goes into. In the past I had an issue with that and I snapped off the old adapter and had to drill it and re-tap it. And that works fine for a good one and a half years now, but I've checked it and it's gone loose and I can't get the adapter for the oil pressure sensor and, and oil pressure gauge sender to tighten up anymore. So I've just jumped online and found a second hand unit which will be shipped out to me and I'm replacing that. I could always try and repair the thread and use some thread thread seal or metal putty and re-tap it again but I think just for reliability I don't want the sender coming loose and dripping oil out everywhere. Other than that everything appears to be perfectly fine underneath. So that's one last thing I need to do and I'll just finish off the rest of the packing now. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Visit my website roamingtheoutback.com for Australian travel destinations, vehicle preparation ideas and gear reviews. If you'd like to help support the creation of new videos, please consider becoming a Patreon. Click on the Patreon button on the screen now. Thanks.